Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Really quick intro here. Today I'll be showing you three ways that you can use one secret ingredient, which is TBP. TBP, if you didn't know, it stands for texturized vegetable protein and it's basically dehydrated soy in the very simple sense. Usually I get mine from my local bulk store here. Before COVID times, you can just get it without any plastic with your own container. So I really like using this because it's a little bit healthier than your typical meat substitute. But yeah, I'll be showing you three different meal ideas. One is like a Chinese inspired recipe, one is a taco meat inspired recipe, and the last one is spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese? I can never say that word right. I promised a quick intro, so let's go. So in terms of level of difficulty, this bolognese is definitely the easiest one to make in my opinion. So that's the TVP and what we have to do is rehydrate it. So you just dump the amount that you would like and then pour over some water. Cold water is okay, but I usually like a little like warm water to it. I find that it just makes it faster. So set it aside for five minutes or so and let it soak in water. And meanwhile, we want to cook up some spaghetti. Here I used um, a whole wheat one. You can use whatever you want. Then I handpicked some fresh basil from my little recently grew basil plant here. His name is Basil. I know it's very creative. And so just saute the regular things like onion and garlic. And here I added some Italian spices. It's a combination of rosemary, basil, oregano, and things like that. You can add whatever you want and also pick your favorite tomato sauce and here i used um whatever this brand is classico um yeah everyone knows how to make pasta but i thought i would show this really really easy and my favorite way to use tvp and it adds a lot of protein in there as well once your sauce is nicely mixed you can add your tvp and it should look like this and yeah it looks pretty legit <laughs> like ground beef but you mix it all in together and honestly the TVP doesn't need to be cooked that much so this is pretty much ready at this point but to take it up a notch I will be adding those hand-picked basil and I also usually like to add things like hummus to really take it up a notch but I didn't this time but yeah just put a lid over it let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes you know eyeball it and then when you open it, it smells so good and it's so ready to be eaten. And here you can taste test and add whatever you think it needs. So I like to usually top it with some pepper. But other than that, it tastes so good. It really gives you that comfort food kind of feeling. I grew up eating this, so this really hits the spot for me. And it's basically the more ethical and sustainable version. So meal idea number two is to use it as a taco ground sort of thing and here I totally failed and I added way too much water and the oil just freaked out at me but let's ignore that. But yes, this is after it's been rehydrated and put on a pan then I will add some taco spices. You can buy those store-bought prepackaged ones but I'll link a recipe that I like below. So here I mixed up all these spices and I am making these hard-ish taco shells by putting it in the oven and I may or may not have burned myself in this process so don't do what I did, take out the shelf thing but yes, here's my two sad looking tacos but promise they'll look really good later and yeah, your taco meat thing should start soaking up the flavors and honestly, that's the easiest thing ever all you have to do is then assemble your taco and here I like to add roasted veggies such as onions and peppers as well as some fresh lettuce and here I have homemade salsa. So yeah, this is honestly so easy and I love making this recipe for a quick little lunch. So this last meal idea is called rou fan and I grew up eating this so this really hits the comfort food spot for me and I'm excited to share. So yes, rehydrate it the same way, then in a pot put some oil and the basic stuff, garlic, an onion as usual and then you would saute this and we want to really sweat and get the flavor out of garlic and onion so what I do is wait till it gets a little 
crunchy at the bottom and then just splash it with water to deglaze this pot and then yeah it'll get the flavors going so these two ingredients are really important for the texture of this dish and so the other special ingredient we're going to need is five spice powder which is used a lot in Chinese Taiwanese cooking and here we will be chopping up the shiitake and the bean curd and we will put in the shiitake mushrooms first so it can soak up all the good flavors in there we will just mix it all together for you know five minutes or so next we will add in soy sauce here i'm using tamari but you can also use the dark soy sauce garlic powder as well as pepper i would prefer white pepper but i only had black and then obviously you just mix it all together and then here we will be adding our tvp you will notice that this recipe is a little more complicated than the first two because there's lots of layering of flavors, but I promise it's worth it. But yes, mix in your TVP and then here we will finally be adding this spice spice powder. I added two big heaping tablespoons of this. So we will be adding water to this whole mixture later and that's why we want a lot of flavor to be in it for now. And I will be adding a little more soy sauce and just taste test as you go. But here we will be adding the cut up bean curd as well as some maple syrup. You can use sugar if you want to. And here we will be adding a little bit of vinegar. Mix very generously and then top it off with more pepper if you like it a little spicier. But yes, I forgot to film but I added a cup to two cups water into this before I put a lid onto it. And then you just kind of wait and let the flavors really seep in. You can keep the lid on for up to an hour, but honestly, I think I opened it after 30 minutes and did more taste testing and adding flavors. But in the end, I sort of let it sit for another 20 minutes after the taste test. But yeah, this is how it turned out. And honestly, I was really proud of it because it really reminds me of home. Here, I'm going to be plating it very beautifully with some yu choy as well as some rice. But honestly, just eat it with some rice and it's so yummy and very satisfying. And yeah, this is the end result. And it turned out really yummy, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you stay to the end, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you're looking for simple vegan recipes like this, definitely subscribe or like. If you make any of these recipes, tag me on Instagram here. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video.